I'm making a Japanese comfort food today. It's a pork soup with udon noodle. It's getting chilly here in Southern California and this dish is going to be a perfect one on a cold night. So join me in the kitchen. First thing I'm going to be doing is to make dashi. And dashi is a broth and a base for the soup. And it's a Japanese one, so I am using uh, kelp. And I'm going to use two of those. I usually keep kelp in a small container like this and I cut it into a small pieces so it's easier to use. Um, so I have 10 cups of um, water in here and I'm just soaking the kelp in regular room temperature water and I leave it like this for half an hour. So it's been about half an hour so I'm gonna take the kelp out of the uh, water. And then Next, I am going to turn the heat on, adding bonito flakes. And these are um, bonito fish, and they dry the fish, and they basically shred it um, like so. And I'm using those uh, fancy ones, those are called flower, flowery uh, bonito flakes. Uh, but it also comes in a small package like this. And this only contains three grams of bonito flakes, so if you're making this big dashi, batch of dashi, you would need maybe two or three of those little packages. So this is going in here. And then I will simmer it. Don't boil it, just simmer it. And then once it's simmered, I'll take this bonito flakes out of the water. And that's your basic broth, dashi. You can make this ahead of time and keep it in the refrigerator. So now I see a little bubble coming up and then uh, this is done and what I'm going to do is take this using a little strainer like this take the bonito flakes out we'll be using daikon, shiitake, okra, carrot and onion and burdock today I'm cutting okra first Next, peeling carrot, and I'm gonna cut into a half an inch to a one centimeter thickness. And daikon radish, same thing, you wash it and peel it, and then uh, slice them into half an inch uh, to one centimeter thickness. And you also wanna cut shiitake mushroom and onion into a one bite size. So this is called gobo burdock, and it's not easy to find here in the U.S., but if you happen to have it, ha happen to find it, then please give it a try. It's got a really earthy taste, and then I think it adds a good um, flavor to the, the soup. But anyway, if, you, if you're if you using it, uh, you probably just need about this much. And then what you do is actually clean this and then take the um, peel the skin off. And a lot of the time that in a Japanese household, the way we clean the skin off is to use the back of the knife and then scrape it like so. So you only scrape off the skin, not the actual um, burdock itself. So this works pretty well. And it changes its color quickly. So uh, once you clean this up, take the skin off, what you wanna do is to soak it in the water and leave it for a um, couple of minutes. Cut the burdock into half an inch, one centimeter width, and then soak them into the water. So next, we're actually making the soup. Um, I have a Dutch oven today and you can use any type of big pot and um, I have added sesame oil in here and turned the heat on to a medium, medium high, medium. So for me today we're using a thinly sliced pork and uh, this type of pork uh, you can easily find at an uh, Asian grocery store um, but if you don't have an access to it then you can freeze a pork loin and actually shave it off or um, cut it thinly or slice it thinly. So that's one way to make um, thinly sliced pork. So now that the pot is warm enough, 
minutes I am going to be adding the meat in here. You can hear the sizzle. Once pork is cooked, you can take them out onto a plate and set them aside. You may have to work in a couple batches to finish up all the thinly sliced pork. And then you start adding vegetables. Start with onions and then add all the vegetables except okra. Saute the vegetables for a couple minutes and then you're going to add about 6 cups of uh, dashi into the Dutch oven. And start cooking the vegetables. While vegetable is cooked, it's time to make udon noodles. Toss the noodle into a boiling water and once it boils again, add a little bit of water and cook the noodle until it's al dente. Once the noodle is cooked, place them into a colander under running water. Check back with the vegetables and make sure there's no uh, residual coming up. When the vegetables are cooked, add sake and mirin and place cooked pork back into the pot. Add miso by using a strainer like this or two spoons and make sure it is all completely dissolved. And finally add okra and cook it for a minute or two and turn the heat off. Place cooked udon noodle into a bowl and add soup. It smells so nice and wonderful. This is your pork soup with udon noodle. I hope you give it a try and let me know how you like it. I hope to hear from you. Thank you for watching.